boys and girls to the Lab Online Preschool Experience. My name's Danae, and I'm so glad you're here today. It is getting so close to Christmas, and I have a challenge that I want you to all watch and be a part of. I'm going to try and make the stickiest stuff that I can possibly make. I want st something that's going to be stuck with me like forever. So I got some white glue. Should we add it? Do you think a little bit or a lot? I think a lot! Okay, and some clear glue. Well, it's more yellow, that's okay. Need a little bit of that. Oh yeah, just a little bit of that. Some glitter glue. This is gonna be so awesome. Yeah, do you see all that nice green glue? May start giving it a little stir. Okay, and I got something else that sticks together. Do you know what these are? Magnets, yeah, it's gonna be so sticky. Okay, and some stickers. What's more sticky than stickers, am I right? Ooh, a candy cane sticker, a Christmas sticker. Ooh, a gumdrop sticker, a sticker of something that's sticky. And some duct tape, ah, yeah, okay. Get that in there, give it a good stir. Okay, while well, I'm stirring, let's go check out our memory verse together. Hey boys and girls, let's say our memory verse together. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. Luke 2.10. Let's say it again. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. Luke 2.10. Great job, everyone. Wow, great job learning your memory verse, boys and girls. Okay, do you wanna see my sticky solution? Whoa, look at that. This looks so sticky. Sticky. Okay, now I just have to think, what am I going to stick together? I bet you this is the stuff that will stick with me longer than anything else. Well, there's maybe just one other thing. You know what? How about we go check out our Bible story together and then we'll chat some more after. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter one. The angel Gabriel told a man named Zachariah that he and his wife would soon have a baby. It was wonderful news, but also very strange because Zachariah and Elizabeth were very old. But God gave them a baby, a baby boy named John. John would grow up and help people get ready for the Savior, Jesus. While Elizabeth still had baby John in her belly, the angel Gabriel appeared to a relative of hers named Mary. Mary was about to marry a guy named Joseph. The angel told Mary that she was favored by God. That means God really thought she was special. Because Mary loved God so much, she was about to be given a very important job. She was going to have a baby boy, and that baby boy would be Jesus. Jesus was God's own son. As you can imagine, this was a lot for Mary to take in, and she was scared. But the angel told her not to be afraid because God is with her. If her relative Elizabeth could have a baby when nobody thought she could, anything was possible for God. As it turned out, Mary was very special. She believed what the angel said with all her heart. She even sang a song of joy to say thank you to God for choosing her. Mary was no longer afraid of what was going to happen because she knew her baby was God's son. But there was someone else who needed to believe this news and trust God also. You see, Mary was about to be married to a man named Joseph, but then he found out that Mary was going to have a baby. He didn't know that she was carrying God's son and he was worried about what people would say when they found out Mary was going to have a baby before they were married. But an angel of God came to Joseph in a dream and gave him a new way of seeing what was happening. The angel told Joseph that he should still take Mary to be his wife. The angel explained that yes, Mary was going to have a baby, but it wasn't just any baby. That baby was God's son. The angel told Joseph that the baby should be named Jesus and he would save the whole world. This message from the angel changed everything. Joseph saw Mary and her baby in a new way, and he knew that this baby Jesus would grow up to be the savior 
that helps everyone know God in a new way, too. Wow, boys and girls, what a cool Bible story. The angel came and talked to Mary. And do you remember what the angel said? I think one of the coolest things the angel said is the angel said to Mary, God is with you. Whoa. And when the angel came to Joseph, do you remember what the angel said the baby's name should be? Me call him Jesus, but his other name too is Emmanuel. And Emmanuel means God with us. Wow. So like right in God's name, he said he's going to be with us, like stuck with us forever. Huh. I bet you that God being with us is even stickier than my super sticky mix here. We can trust that God is stuck right with us all of the time, no matter what. Whether he's asking us to do something big and awesome like he was to Mary, or whether it's just every single part of the day, it's right part of his even name, is that God is with us. And that means you, every single kid who's watching today, and every single person who wants God, God is right there with them. Can we pray and thank God that he's always with us no matter what? God, I thank you so much that you never leave us, no matter what, on our hardest day and on our best day. You are a good, good God. So God, I just pray you'd help us to trust you more and more. I thank you that you are stuck right with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for coming, boys and girls. I hope you have an awesome week and we'll see you again next time, whether it's here online or in person. Bye.